Uh, hi, everybody. I'm uh, tired and a little bit sleep deprived, so I'll try to make this quick. I'm just going to talk about the kernel showcase a bit, uh, address the uh, low video and audio quality in the prior eight videos, and uh, read off a comment that I got uh, on YouTube. Uh, firstly, like kernel, uh, for those that are coming here from outside of that community, uh, Kernel is a, is, a, is a peer learning environment uh, for, for building a better web. It's uh, Ethereum adjacent, Web3 adjacent. Uh, they've read their David Graeber and their Douglas Rushkoff, and uh, it's, just a, it's just a fantastic community for uh, re-examining the, pres the, the, the premises of, of, our, of our social, cultural, and uh, economic systems. So uh, I met like uh, so many interesting people there, and particularly during the showcase, you could see uh, the passion in the room of so many people who've devoted themselves to, to their, uh, you know, uh, passion projects uh, and to be among them was uh, was definitely a special privilege and uh, yeah very much thank you uh, for all the encouragement uh, uh, that uh, that folks uh, gave uh, for my presentation um, I was crewing for a few months and it fell apart like a couple of weeks ago and that's uh, partially uh, the reason for all of these videos you know uh, as a means to sort of cheer myself up uh, and and to, to make sure that I was continuing to move I, I um, so so the encouragement was uh, was uh, definitely uh, you know uh, uh, something that I that I took to heart, um, and uh, you know at the same time I can't wait to do another uh, another crewing experiment. I mean you know just just keep going, keep doing it. Uh, you know I I appreciate Richard Bartlett for having put so much work into the the art of crewing. You know and micro solidarity and in this case I was freewheeling. Um, uh, so so you know there's uh, there's definitely uh, pitfalls to uh, avoid and uh, experience um, and to learn from. I think we learn more from our failures than from our successes. So there's there's always that you know. Uh, 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 the cleverness is knowing all the right ways to do things and uh, wisdom is knowing all the wrong ones. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, okay, so the audio and video quality, uh, I'm already feeling a compunction uh, 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 due to the uh, very low, especially audio quality. Uh, I've decided that I'm going to re-upload those videos with the audio uh, renormalized to a negative 23 LUFS, which is broadcast standard, apparently. And even though last year I you know, already got, kind of gotten that right, uh, I was... Uh, as a bulwark against my own uh, tendency to procrastinate uh, and also to enter a kind of tweak hell where like I try to get everything just right. I, I just basically hit play and then went off and then, uh, you know, three or four or five videos down the line, I started editing things. And then it got to the point where I was like, well, why am I editing so something with such poor audio and video quality? And then when people started joining, I was like, holy crap, now people are saying this stuff, uh, you know, and, and even as I browse myself and see my video in my own feed there for having watched them in, in the past and then like navigating from a video that I can actually hear to one that I can't is actually uh, tremendously irritating. Okay, so now for the interesting part. Like, uh, be advised, everybody, that if you ask me a question, uh, you know, online or uh, make a comment that uh, that I might put the text, uh, you know, mine and yours to to a face. Uh, it's it's in good spirit, uh, you know, as long as I mean, even if I mean, if somebody's like uh, like uh, like like super dickish, I might I might uh, make some humor out of it, uh, you know. So so be forewarned in that. Uh, but 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 otherwise, you know, if it's if it's well meaning, I think, <laughs> and even if it's not, um, you know, it, it's all in good it's all in good spirit. So Josiah forty two said, uh, uh, "There's a lot to think about." Uh, sorry, there's there's a lot to think over in this presentation. I understand what you're responding to, but not necessarily where you're going. Uh, for what it's worth, I found the Andrewism channel very useful for informing my, my view of the future, in particular the library economy video addressing some of your points, uh, but in more detail. I just finished reading Humankind by Rutger Bregman, and he has a lot of informative and surprising things to say about society and economics. I highly recommend it. Uh, yeah, th thanks for this comment. Like, I don't get a lot of them, and, uh, and especially thanks for the uh, book recommendation. I love love, love book recommendations. Uh, so yes, I will, I will look into this uh, particular book and, uh, and yeah, th thanks again. So here's, here's my um, answer to it. Uh, uh, thanks for the comment. Uh, well, intellectually, I'm situated in a very countercultural tradition. A present sense of crisis is causing plenty of folks to revive many of the premises of the Situationist International, but without the swagger. As they are credited with the invention of punk, it's probably not too surprising that I would personally resonate the most with solar punks and lunar punks amongst those present movements. Uh, but Deleuze and Guattari in particular have been done dirty by Gothic accelerationists, and I think that the grimoires they left behind deserve re-examination in an age where so many people are trying to rediscover what it means to have the kind of society that humans actually deserve. This is as much about art as anything else. In fact, I'd say it's all about art, the art of everyday life. Uh, in terms of my actual skills and background, though, I just think uh, in-person environments are important in that people underestimate how enjoyably and how deeply adults can learn in prepared environments. Uh, makerspaces sort of do that, being a form of prepared spaces uh, for adults already, but they haven't yet done this with a concentrated ethos of accelerated learning, let alone with a focus on unruly outsider sciencing, let alone crazy enough to wrap itself in a situationist ethos. Uh, so that's where I'm going. 
If you don't know about our Open Collective yet and this stuff sounds cool to you and you've got money burning in your pocket, by all means uh, visit OpenCollective.com forward slash Wealth Plateau and um, by all means contribute.